how to disable the eyesight camera on your Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownloadBlog. Now maybe I'm just a little paranoid, but I always like wonder, is someone watching me on my Mac uh, using the eyesight camera when I'm not aware? Does it just turn on without me being aware that it's actually on? You know, you read stuff, you wonder sometimes, uh, and I know that's probably crazy, but you know, sometimes I actually like cover the eyesight camera. Uh, just gives me peace of mind. Like I don't want to be recorded while I'm dressing or, uh, well, I'm in my office now, so I guess that wouldn't matter. I don't know. I just, you know, it's just odd. And it's like this camera's looking at you and you're wondering, you know, is, is someone hacking into this? Who knows? Um, so I've always thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could like actually disable the eyesight camera using software? Um, and there actually is a way to do that using a, a simple Apple script. Uh, it's from a blog called Tech Slaves here, and I'll just pull this up so you guys can see it. It's called Eyesight Disabler, and this is a script you can download. The latest version, it says it supports Mavericks. Uh, I have tried it out on Yosemite. I downloaded this script, and I created a, a application from that script, gave it a custom icon, and yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple script, a pretty simple application once you create the app from Apple Script. Uh, and I'll actually have a download for that for you guys if you want to try it out. But you can see I have my uh, photo booth here, have my little duck there. And um, so I'm going to show you how this works. So obviously the eyesight camera is on right now. I'm actually going to close out a photo booth and just reopen it for you guys so you can see that this does indeed work. The eyesight camera does indeed work as uh as you might expect. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close out a photo booth. I'm going to run this app here called Eyesight Disabler. Um, and like I said, it's an Apple script that's turned into an app. So I'm just going to double click on it. And then you should see this Intel Mac Eyesight Disabler brought to you by techslaves.org. Um, you can find the link to TechSlave's website in the uh, blog post. Um, and you'll also find a link to this, this application that I've created from the Apple script in the blog post as well. So now all I'm going to do is just click on disable eyesight like that. It's going to ask for my admin password. All right. And that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to load up photo booth and see what happens. Oh, there is no connected camera. So it's almost as if there's just no eyesight camera whatsoever on this Mac. Uh, so any application that tries to use this eyesight camera on my Mac, will not work. It will not actually have a connection because I've completely disabled it by means of this script. So that can give you a little peace of mind if you, you know, you're always like kind of just looking at this camera and wondering, hey, is I wonder if anyone's actually looking at me right now. Probably not. I'd say 99.99999% chance that they're not. But if you like the peace of mind that comes with a tweak or with a uh, script or application like this, then you can definitely try it out and let me know if it works for you. Now, your mileage may vary on this. I'm running this on a MacBook Pro, a Retina MacBook Pro. Uh, if you have another Mac with eyesight camera and you're running Yosemite or Mavericks, this should work, but there, there's no guarantees, obviously use at your own discretion. So I'm going to re-enable the eyesight camera here. I'm just going to enable eyesight. It's going to ask for me for my admin password again. And now let's load up photo booth again. All right. And there you go. There's my little ducky friend there. So hopefully this was able to help you out, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, app is called eyesight disabler is based off an, an Apple script made by the folks or the folk over at TechSlave. Uh, so make sure you check that website out as well. Hope this is able to help you out. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.